Good morning and welcome to Business Profile on Lifestyles. I'm your host, Charlene Sloan. And this morning we're talking with Buda Biberai from Biberai Snow and Sinclair about expungements. Good morning. Good morning. So first tell us what are expungements? Expungements are a process by which if you have been charged with a criminal offense that has not resulted in a conviction or a court's determination that the evidence is sufficient for a finding of guilt, you are allowed to petition the circuit court in your area to ask them to go ahead and seal, expunge the records related both to the arrest as well as the court documents. So this means that it removes it from your records so that no one checking your record will see that this ever happened? To a certain degree, yes. The only limitation nowadays is because of the internet mm. that sometimes that information is out there so it doesn't necessarily through the court process remove that. And so what is the purpose of an expungement then? It's to say that if you were charged with something and you were found not guilty to free you of you know all of the things that are entailed with a guilty plea, right? Right, or just being charged because right. there's a lot of stigma to that. Right, right, yeah, it's so for, negative. Right, for employment purposes or even within your community. If you've been accused of something that is unsavory, if somebody looks at it, human nature it has a tendency to say, oh, but maybe you still did it, mm. but you just weren't found guilty. So it allows you to have a clean slate as, as you should for something that you were not convicted of. Yeah, which is very important, I think, for employment, I, I would imagine, is the most obvious place where you might see retaliation for even just being brought up with charges. Yes, especially in our community where we have a lot of people who have security clearances mm -hmm. or positions of responsibility and sure that could limit their ability to be able to be employed. Now are there limitations to an expungement? Are there circumstances in which uh, something cannot be expunged? Yes. Uh, the easier process is if it's a misdemeanor. Mm. If it's a misdemeanor, there's actually an inference through the code that says that if you don't have a prior criminal record, that the inference is that it should be expunged. For felony purposes, you actually have to show that this has a tendency to go ahead and um, infringe upon your rights, that this is going to have a negative impact. So you have to actually make a showing to the court that depending on the charge and your circumstances, that this will actually negatively impact you and then they will expunge it. Okay, and I know my, my questions probably show my ignorance on this topic, but what about if um, a case has actually gone through a trial process? I mean, is expungement even an option then? Because the trial record is there, the trial happened, and maybe you've been found not guilty, but you still want that off of your record. Correct. Now, when you say the trial records, it would it, I'll take your words to assume the court records. Sure. Those could be expunged. Mm. Um, if there are transcripts, then obviously those that are filed with the court can be expunged. But there's no court order that would go to the uh, company who produced them to say, okay, you must get rid of those records because there's no authority for that. But it would all be limited to arrest records um, as well as the charging agency and the court's files that would be sealed. Okay, and those are something, those are the things that an employer might see anyway. Correct. Right. A lot of times when people have background checks, that's where the investigator will go is to the courthouses to look at the records. Wow, okay. Well, it's such a complex but fascinating topic. Um, tell us, how can people reach out to your firm if they maybe want to seek your guidance in, in either gaining an expungement or just having services um, for going to court? We would be available for those uh, consultations by either contacting or reviewing our website at loudonlawyers.com or calling our office at 703-779-2000. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Business Profile on Lifestyles.